Hi, this is Lachami Kantiwari and welcome back to your new video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how you can create a circular progress bar. Here is sample application. If you open a material.io guidelines, you can see there, there are two types of progress bar, a linear progress bar and a circular progress bar. And this is being used while loading content in phases, okay? And uh, here is some application of a linear progress bar. This is determinate. Second one is indeterminate type. And third one is buffer type. You may have seen in your YouTube video. While video is loading, there is a one secondary bar which is, which is being filled ahead of your current playing time and the another one is query determinate and indeterminate so this one you may have seen while loading your uh, browser application once query is being sent to the server and then query is being received in your mobile okay so you can uh, simulate this one query is being loaded in your mobile and this one is query being sent to the server and request to download to the mobile and here is a circular, there are two states in the circular, indeterminate and the determinate state. So the indeterminate state is loading your some content and determinate state is means downloading some content. Okay. So indeterminate means there is no time it can, okay. And indeterminate there is time and there is a percentage. So that circular with the determinate you can, you know, the integrate with floating action button while loading and the downloading you can see here it is downloading and the loading okay and the similarly you can see here while downloading or uploading any photos to your any um, application okay right so let's move forward and first let's create a layout so for that layout we have i have created an android application named as a progress bar circular and horizontal you can delete this text view this is redundant and this constant layout we want here the relative layout and uh, now we want to include here a progress bar the width of progress bar is gonna be wrap content and the height is also going to be the wrap content and uh, it is going to be a center horizontal uh, is the true uh, I think uh, yes we can make a center horizontal the true and uh, then I can make a center vertical as a true also and uh, suppose that I would like to make as indeterminate that's the true okay and it will just you know the keep rolling every time and apart from that I need to give a id so the ID I'm going to give you here, that's the progress bar, okay. Now let's load this application into our Android emulator. While it will load, I would like to tell you, since we have not defined any custom style and the custom theme, that means it will be following default Android accent color so that accent color you can find here this is okay so this is default accent color while it is installing the application let's choose uh, accent color so we can choose that accent color let's say suppose that uh, we want the purple and let's say this 500 okay we can create here uh, our default accent color so you can see here color progress bar okay And then has control and V paste it default accent color right so application has been installed let's see see here this is following this default accent color now I am trying to change this color okay so here it's a progress bar right so let's first change this default color so that can be changed while uh, by creating a new style so let's uh, open a new style tag and uh, 
give a name to this style and I would like to give the name as a progress theme and let's copy this progress theme name okay and the item and of course accent color that's gonna be a color progress bar and let's remove this android otherwise it will not reflect the color into your progress bar and inside the activity main now we want to put here our theme uh, I mean the theme so that's, that's the style actually okay so that style you can see here a style um, actually it's a theme uh, style we would change the theme later so it's an android theme and uh, it's a style and then forward slash control V it's a progress theme okay now see the default color has been changed to you know the purple color even you want to change you can change it to the blue also but you see it is now changed to the purple color and uh, you can see inside the emulator let it first install perfect now see now uh, we have not done any that java coding here i mean java coding here so it's very difficult to you know set its visibility off while in xml file so what i'm going to do here i'm going to create here a handler timer and a runnable function in which it will set visibility uh, on and off of this progress var so for that I have to first create a reference I mean the object for a progress var so here first the progress var is equal to a progress var and then I would like to take the reference for this progress var is equal to progress bar and then find v by id and then r dot id dot of course it is a progress var right and then we can set the progress bar dot set visibility however by default the visibility is on but you can if you want to set it so you can set it to visible okay we dot visible right and uh, apart from that now i would like to create an handler and the timer okay i'll show you i'll explain you what would happen there so the handler is equal to the handler and then runnable equal to the runnable so it's a kind of uh, auto, uh, it's kind of uh, you know a background programming i mean the thread programming so i'm creating here you know the new parallel thread which would be running okay so here i want uh, a timer okay perfect so i have these three timer runnable and handler and then the last one i want oh i don't want int here so let's remove that int here no problem now let's create a new handler okay sorry let's uh, instantiate this handler handler is equal to the new handler okay so handler is equal to the new handler and uh, then we want uh, runnable is equal to new runnable okay so if you see here if you just press the enter it will automatically create an uh, override method run don't forget to put a semicolon here and now inside this run method i would like to uh, don't do anything uh, as of now first let's create a timer okay so i want here a timer is equal to new timer okay so the timer is equal to the new timer and then timer dot schedule and new timer task okay so here i have scheduled a new timer task and uh, i have to give the time okay for that new timer task so for that what i am going to do here i am going to say that 
after 10 second okay that's the 10,000 after 10 second it is going to fire this schedule okay means after the 10 second every time it will run this run okay uh, and the frequency of that is going to be defined here so I'm going to define that frequency here let's say 1000 second that's the one second after each one second it will execute this run okay so inside this run I am going to post a task to the handler so that can be uh, that can be posted here with the handler dot post and that's the runnable okay that's mean after a 10 second after a 10 second it will it will call runnable okay and now inside this runnable run what I am going to do I am going to set the visibility of this progress bar to gone okay that means after a 10 second this will stop okay and then I am going to cancel okay so I am going to cancel this timer okay so that means after I mean after only one time it will just cancel the timer that's mean ne the next time okay in the next time this uh, runnable would not execute okay now let's run this application then I'll show you what I'm trying to show you see here you can see the 3 second 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 of course that was the 10 okay so my so see here after 10 seconds that's the gone even if you set is the 5 20 seconds whatever you want to set okay so after that time the visibility of that progress bar would be automatically you know gone so in this video tutorial i think it is long enough and i'm going to stop this circular progress bar tutorial in the next tutorial i'll show you how you can convert this circular bar into a horizontal bar so thank you so much for watching this one and stay tuned for next one bye bye have a nice day